Talk to you today about getting triggered. Do you get triggered by a toxic person? Like, is he triggering you in the moment of something that's happening in the relationship that is making you oftentimes spiral out or react? You see, when we're talking with a narcissist, typically what's happening is he's trying to trigger or get a response from you. When we start breaking this down, I want you to just think and imagine the idea of you're trying to navigate through life while he's installing these landmines in front of you. These different things that are going to make you react or respond in a way that you don't want to respond, but in a way that keeps happening over and over and over again. The things that keep pushing your buttons, the keeps things that keep making you kind of like, hey, what is going on? You see, a narcissist will continue to trigger you to a place where you will continue to act out and respond in a way that you're like, this isn't even who I want to be. This isn't even how I want to show up. You see, it's easy for a narcissist to actually poke you and prod you to get you to the place where you respond like you're crazy. And the narcissist is like, see, you're the crazy one. Like, here I am. I'm sitting here. I'm, 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 reading, I'm reading a book. Here I am reading a book, and you're the one yelling and being crazy. I want you to imagine you're walking through life, and he's putting these landmines in your life. Like he's intentionally setting these up in front of you, bringing you to the place of getting ready to lash out. Like he's giving you the silent treatment and expecting you to know what's the problem. He's interacting with you in a certain way that's just slowly prodding and poking at you, waiting for you to lash out, waiting for you to react in a way that you don't actually want to act. And sometimes you start to make yourself doubt this. You start to question. You're like, I don't even know. Like, why do I even do this? Why do I even yell at him? Like that there's not a reason. He hasn't changed. Nothing's actually different. Like why do I actually find myself screaming at this person? Because I'm so frustrated because he actually won't talk to me because he won't actually tell me what's going on. He won't actually share what's actually happening. Then you find yourself oftentimes spiraling out and thinking, maybe I'm the toxic one. How many of you have the thought go through your mind inside a middle of you getting upset, even raging out against the person who has been consistently abusing you? How many of you thought, maybe I'm the toxic one? How many of you have actually thought that? Because we see this where people get to a place where you have been triggered over and over and over again. And the next day, it's like, what is he going to say just to be able to push you a little bit more? What is he going to poke and prod at you to be able to hurt your self-esteem, to be able to pull you down just a little bit more? And you start to wonder if you're the toxic one and maybe he's right. Maybe it's all you. Now, oftentimes you start to spiral out in your mindset and your thought process, and the person that you once was, your person that you once were, starts to disappear. The confidence that you used to have in yourself and making decisions in your life, at the grocery store, and running your business, all of these things start to slowly fade away, and you become a shell of the person that you used to be. You become the person that you used to know, feeling like life seems to be empty, like you're walking through life looking for the happiness, looking for the joy, looking for like the good times, the fun person that you actually used to be, and you haven't been able to found, find it. You haven't been able to find it anymore. Is this you? I want you to take a moment and just pause and understand that you haven't had some of the tools and some of the systems to actually be free. Like you've been putting yourself in this crazy making thought process and idea and you've been stuck for such a long period of time. You're not sure how to actually be free. You've turned to a certain aspect and you've been like, hey, maybe he'll change. Maybe he'll get better. You've sold yourself a lie that he's put on you thinking that it's going to get better and it's never gotten any better. I want you to take a moment and just pause to give yourself some grace. Some of you didn't know. You didn't have a clue. And you're looking back on the past of past years, the past relationship, whatever it might be. You're looking back on it and you're beating yourself up every single day because of how it affected you, because of how it affected the kids, because of how it affected your job, because of all the different things that it caused, that it broke down, that it affected. 
and you're looking at all these things, you start to just mentally beat yourself up. You start to do the narcissist job for you where you're beating yourself up over and over and over again, thinking how stupid was I for not catching this? Why didn't I realize that he was the abuser? It wasn't me. When you start to like be like, why did I stay so long? All these thoughts go through. And it's because of those slow, methodical things that he's doing to trigger you and to put you in a place of reaction. But I want you to pause for a moment and you just give yourself some grace. Thinking like, hey, you didn't know. Think of it this way. When you were four years old, you didn't understand algebra. Maybe you still don't. I don't because it's not that great. Okay, But maybe you didn't understand higher level math, right? You don't look at yourself now and be like, man, when I was four years old, I was so stupid because I didn't understand higher level math, right? You don't do that. Why? Because you didn't have the knowledge. You didn't have the tools. You didn't have the understanding to actually bring yourself to that place and be like, oh, this is what's going on. The same thing has been happening inside the toxic narcissistic relationship that you've been a part of. You've been brought through all of this and you haven't seen it because you didn't know what you were dealing with. You didn't sign up and walk up to the marriage altar and be like, hey, let's sign on the dotted line to abuse, to gaslight, to love bomb, and to destroy my life. Like that wasn't part of the contract that you signed. Is what I need you to understand is for a moment, you need to pause and give yourself some grace and understand you did not have the tools to actually be free from the toxicity that you're currently stuck in. You didn't know. Can you just, can you just pause for a moment and give yourself some grace? Understanding that you didn't know to start off with. But now we run into another piece because you've been watching my content. You've been watching this live for a couple minutes here. And now you've already started to build an awareness based on the triggers that he's put into your life to produce this reaction, to produce a reactive abuse idea, to produce this place where you're spinning out and he's seeming normal, but he's the one that keeps poking and prodding and hurting you. Now you're starting to get this piece of awareness of understanding who you are, understanding what's actually going on, you start to actually see, wait a second, the reality I've been living in, the version of what I've seen for such a long period of time might not actually be true. I might not actually be the bad person. I might not actually be the abuser. He's the one that's been doing this. He's been gaslighting. He's been love bombing. He's been cheating on me. All of these things have been going on, but I've been made to feel like it's my fault. We just talked about giving yourself grace for when you think that. The second thing you need to think through is now that you have the awareness, what are you going to do? My channel is great for getting awareness out there. But honestly, there's a piece of my content that sucks in actually calling people to do something. To take action. You've heard the phrase like knowledge is power. And the thing is knowledge without action doesn't do shit. Some of you have been stuck in the weeds and in the mud and the toxic relationship, and you're still not sure how to get out. You scrolled through my videos. You scrolled through Lee's. You scrolled through Dr. Romney's, Les Carter's. You, like, you've gone through all the different people's stuff, and you're still stuck in it. And you're like, well, if I learn one more video, then this will make it happen. If I figure out one more concept, this will make it happen. If I figure out one more thing of why he did what he did, then it'll make sense. Guess what? It won't. Until you actually decide, make a choice to invest in you and make the step forward in your growth, your healing, your development, nothing will change. The nurses will continue to use and abuse you for the longest period of time. Until you make a choice. 